Hello, bearded bee people. Welcome back to Bee and Kate Bees. The last few episodes, or the last couple of videos that I've come out with in terms of actually working bees were just the spring cleaning and assessment inspections that we've been doing. And we are doing more of those today, but I won't bore you with that same subject. I ran across a very stacked stack single and I did my normal check on it as opposed to going frame to frame and taking all day with it. Uh, I just flipped them on their side and smoked the bees off of the bottom and saw a swarm cell. So I am going to split them. And as I was getting ready to start this video, Katie ran across what I would call and what we would call close to a dud, a colony with one and a half or two frames of bees. So I will either uh, supplement that colony and take the swarm instinct out of this stacked colony, or I will create a split and supplement that colony and take the swarm out of this stacked colony. Either way, we're gonna go through it, we're gonna create a split, so let's get started. There's a queen in here. Cool. Yeah, <clears throat> cool, all right, we'll give them some food and leave a frame out, like a, a frame spot. Okay, cool. All right, so the outside frame is heavy with nectar and bee bread. <clears throat> I am going to try my best to find this queen. If I don't, we will uh, we'll make something happen without her, but <clears throat> it would be best to be able to move her to the new spot, fully convince these bees that they've done what their job says they should and swarming. All right, getting into some cap brood on the second frame in. No queen. More cap brood and liquid food. No queen. Still no queen. Lots of sheets of brood. Little queen cup here. <clears throat> Not seeing these swarm preparations that I expected to see. 
little patch of drone brood in the center of that. Eggs and young larvae and the empty cells there. So she's in here somewhere. If I don't, if I don't see any other cap cells, I'm just gonna leave them. Weird. Weird how? Two of the frames, like the ends of them, busted off like last year. Yeah. So they look okay. I'm just gonna check for a clean cell. Pretty light. Yeah, give them some food and call it good. Okay, so here's the cell frame. It's got some drone brood on this side and cap brood. Um, some more patches of drone brood, only that one cap cell. <clears throat> I am probably going to leave them be. They only have the one cell. Wait, is that another one right there that I just missed? Nope. <clears throat> All right, well, here's the queen. She's a tiny little queen. I think they are about to supersede her. She's down in the bottom right corner. Extremely small. Must have been a requeen at the end of last year, and I believe they are requeening right now rather than swarming. This is a good lesson in <clears throat> the fact that you don't want to put all of your faith in the reason for the cell in where the cell is located because this cell is hanging off of the bottom of a frame in this colony but when i get into it it's not packed with brood the way i would expect to see if they were getting ready to swarm and they didn't have any other cells which you would expect to see if they were getting ready to swarm so i'm not going to do anything with them i'm not going to split them a bunch of different ways because of the fact that they don't look like a regular swarmy colony. So I believe that that cell, regardless of its location, is for requeening, is for getting rid of that smaller queen that they somehow got stuck with. So I'm gonna let them do it. It's a big old nice cell. I don't have a problem with that. I don't expect to see this box greatly depleted in population next time I get into them. Um, it's just not the right conditions for that. So I'm gonna leave them be and this is sort of a, a good lesson Like I said for this video don't judge the reason for the cell based only on the location inside the hive You've got to use other context clues Does the colony look like it's ready to swarm in terms of brood? Does it look like it's ready to swarm in terms of food? Does it look like it's ready to swarm in terms of population? Are the outside conditions correct? So I would say yes, the outside conditions are correct Yes, it looks like it's good in terms of population, but it does not look like it's good in terms of brood. The brood sheets aren't full. There are lots of open, empty spaces for her to lay, and there's only one cell. So I'm just gonna leave them. That is the lesson for today. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and have some fun with your bees. See ya.